Check out the link below to get access to the Click Masterclass that's out right now. It has got rave reviews and you will learn everything you need to know to go from zero to one in ClickSense. So check it out now. Hey guys and welcome back. Super quick tutorial today. If you have a variable input like this here, how can you add multiple, multiple values or create a list that you can input into your variable. So for example, I've connected this particular variable input to a variable called dimension selection. And every time I make a change here, you see that the name changes, right? But how do I create a list and, in, and use that as my input? Let's have a look, shall we? So let's call a variable input here. And when you create a dropdown here, you can give a name of the variable and whenever the user selects a value from the dropdown, that value is assigned to the variable of your choosing. That is whatever variable you enter over here, right? And here inside values, you can click on dynamic values. So you click on dynamic, but how do you get the list? Well, you can actually create the list. So if you go to your uh, script editor, I've now created a list here called dimension list and the way to create multiple lines, that is the way to be able to get a dropdown with multiple names over here is by passing it through inside single quotes, you separate what you want by a separator like this. So essentially you put in the name and before the next name, you put a separator and then your next name that you want in your drop down list, separator, and in the end, close the quotes because you want this to be a string, right? Um, and then I have a variable called let dimension selection one. So I've just left it as blank because I'm going to use the variable input over here. So let's go to the front end. And over here, what I'm going to say is here, I want the name of this to be dimension selection one. That is whenever I input any value here, I want the variable called dimension selection to be updated. All right. But how do I get the value here? Now I don't have a value, but I've created a dimension list called do not show last name product or ID, right? Which are separated by the separator. So these click processes them as each as a different name. And in order to call the list over here, I go into dynamic values and inside dynamic values, I go into the expression editor. And here I say, this is nothing but my dimension list. So bring in the dimension list. Okay. But this is a string. So I put it inside quotes and I say dollar expand the dimension list. What is inside the dimension list? The in the values inside the dimension list is what I have as my um, names that I want in my list. So I've created it in my script editor. And here I'm saying just dollar expand it, put it inside quotes and say apply. So now you have dynamic values. What are the values? The values are whatever is inside my dimension list that I've created in my script editor. Good. And when the user selects it, update it to the variable called dimension selection. So now I have country here. Let me change it to product. So it's working. So essentially, when I look at the drop down, I look at all the names that's already there in my list. And since I've collected, since I've connected the dimension list to this particular variable and called it here, whenever I make a change, it updates here. So there's a lot of use cases. Um, there's a video coming soon where I'm going to go in depth on um, how you can do something really, really cool. So I hope you stick around for it. Um, but I'll see you in that video. Till then, have a good one. Please leave a like and check out the links below. Super appreciate it. Leave a like and take care. Peace.